Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Boo Boy Kennels. Today, you know, I figured I'd bring you some of my latest movie pickups and just a brief, uh, brief overview of what I think about them. Anyway, let's start with this first movie. This one, um, you know, I've I seen some reviews about it. Never really got to watch it on the uh, on Shutter, even though I do have Shutter. I just don't watch it very often because I don't really stream stuff. But that movie is none other than Oddity. Now, this is one creepy movie. It is creepy. It's not scary, but it is creepy. You know, it's just one of those things you just have to watch for yourself. I mean, if you're into horror films, you know, if you can at least deal with some slow paced stuff, um, I think you definitely enjoy it, especially for the creepiness. I, I think that's what, I think the slow pace of it is what really, you know, adds to that, that creepy factor. And as far as like the place that the movie was done in, it was really well done. Like it was a really good movie. So if you haven't picked it up, you know, then definitely check it out on streaming. I believe, like I said, I believe it's on Shutter. It's called Oddity. Something I think you would definitely really, really enjoy. And, oh, and I forgot to press mention. Uh, these are all like movies from between today and like maybe within the last week um, that I'm just going over real quick. I have more other ones, but these are pretty much like more of the main main stuff. This one, it's one of those point of view killers. Well, from their point of view, for me the movie was eh, but the kills made up. For a lot of that eh, in the movie itself. Some people think the movie is great. I didn't think it was great. But I thought the kills were great. And that's what I enjoyed about it. And that movie. This is also on Shudder. Uh, in a Violent Nature. So. You know, if you definitely want to see some good kills. Um, it's slow paced though. Slow paced. You know. <laughs> you got to bear with the slow pacedness on this one. But. the Definitely the kills made up for it. Uh, in, in regards to that and you, you know you may um, actually enjoy that so like I say um, you know if you didn't pick it up or you plan on picking it up you know you're kind of on the fence you know just check it out on shutter you know won't hurt anything if you already have shutter this next one is kind of like it has me uh, split because of all the bad reviews and I didn't bother to go see it at the movie theater but my wife and daughter are in the comedy and they like the actors certain actors that are in this movie they're big fans of them I'm not fans of, of the of the actors or at least the comedians I'm just not in the comedy it's, it's just me I prefer my my horror movies but because I am a big fan of the game and I played like pretty much every single one of them that is Borderlands so this is the Steelbook edition because I figure if I'm going to get it and not be happy with the movie, I at least want to be happy with something from it, being, being the game video aspect and also the Steelbook. So that was mainly my reason for picking it up. I haven't watched it yet because I'm trying to figure out a time for like my whole family and my grandson to watch this. So that way we can, uh, we can all enjoy it together. Together. Yes. This next one, you know, you know, again, just I'm, you know, I'm just a, I'm, I'm a horror, I'm a, just into horror, and I owned, I know I had it on DVD, I think I have it on Blu-ray, I'm not sure, I'd have to check my database, um, but of course when they announced the, the 4K editions, I, I had to, had to get it, I had to get it, I had to get it, and that is Land of the Dead, you know, you gotta enjoy a good Land of the Dead. I actually enjoy all the all the dead movies. Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead, Night of the Dead. You know, I, I, I enjoy them all. And this one, I, to me, is really, is really like a, you know, like a comical movie. I don't know why. To, to me, horror is comedy. Well, it's comedy to me. So, you know, I just find that um, really funny, to be quite honest. But yeah. Like I said, Land of the Dead, if you haven't seen it, pick it up, pick it up. You, you'll enjoy this one. Definitely, definitely a really uh, good, good movie to pick up. 
for sure. Uh, this next one, I know I had the Blu-ray when the Blu-ray first came out years ago, and you know I, I enjoyed the movie. For some people, this movie is like really, really high on their list because it is really well done, well lit. You know, cinematography for it, it's very well done, and you know it might be something that a lot of you guys will enjoy, especially with you know the Halloween season right now coming up, about to be over in like two days or whatever it is. And that is none other than Trick or Treat. So this was another really good, good, good movie. And especially when they announced the 4K release, you know, I had to get the uh, the Arrow Web Exclusive Edition. I forget what came with it. I know it's the original artwork instead of the the other artwork that they have, which I thought was really, really nice. But you know, I figured, yeah, you know what? Let me just get the Web Exclusive Edition, and uh, you know, and just enjoy that one instead. But I could have went with either or. And been fine with it, but yeah, definitely trick or treat. I would say, you know, if you, if, if you have it, if you're starting a collection, that probably won't be one of the movies you would want in that collection to kind of start out with. This next movie, now it's a little controversial, it's a little controversial, and I only say it because of the audio, not because of the film. The film looks great, color is great. But when it came to the original movie, the, the audio for the 4K on that was very dynamic. And like, if you have a home audio system, that thing will thump. It thump, 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 thump. This one I kind of feel as though they, I don't know, it almost feels like it's compressed with the audio. It doesn't have that same dynamic range as the, um, the original movie. But still very good, you know, on a you know on a home audio system with you know Atmos and whatever whatever speakers are using, you might just have to crank it up a little bit more, you know, kind of get that thump thump you want. But other than that, fantastic movie, you know. Actually, just we you know we just watched this the other night, um, you know, my, my wife and daughter. Uh, this was one we did go see in the theater, and you know definitely did enjoy. And, you know, I don't really talk in the theaters when, when I'm there, but, you know, I did uh, kind of every now and then leaned over to my to my daughter and was like, you know, you know, they're paying, you know, because of certain parts or certain things they were doing in the movie, even though they did it flip flopped. Um, they were definitely paying homage back to the original Twisters, which was really, really good. And yeah, so I mean, I, you know, I thought this movie was well done. And, um, if, you know, if you haven't picked it up, you know, that definitely I, I would definitely pick it up. Even though, the, like I said, the dynamic range isn't as good as it should be. But still, very, very well done. Very well done. Uh, this next one, um, it's more of a family movie, but, you know, definitely a good one to get. Uh, especially if you grew up watching, you know, the, the older movies. And, you know, they have different, like, remakes of it. And that is the uh, Adam's Family Values on 4K. Who would have thunk it? So yeah, definitely had to pick this one up. Uh, you know, share it with my grandson. I I don't even remember if when my daughter was young if we watched this or not. Can't quite remember, but I'll definitely share this one with my grandson. Good family movie. You know, something fun to watch. Still keeping it in that you know in that Halloweenish type of season. Actually, this is one of those movies you can watch any time of the year. You know, it doesn't have to be Halloween, but it helps when it's Halloween. It definitely helps. So, yeah, Adam's Family Values definitely uh, picked that up. I th you know, I think pretty much everything is a 4K except for In a Violent Night and Oddity. I think those were the only two that were Blu-rays. The rest are 4K. I try to get 4Ks if they have 4Ks, um, but if they only have like a Blu-ray release and that's it, then you know, I'll just pick up the Blu-ray. I just don't like when they do the 4K a few months later. That just pisses me off, but. It is what it is. Now, this next one, this one I know I had on DVD. I don't think I ever bought the Blu-ray, but I know definitely on DVD I had it when it first came out. Um, I haven't got to watch it yet because it literally just came in today along with Adam's Family Values. So, sometime between tonight and hopefully by the end of the week, I'm going to get to watch it because I enjoyed the first one. And that is Drag Me to Hell. So, hopefully, you know, it's, it's as good as I remember because I haven't watched the DVD in a long time. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to seeing this in the beautiful 4K-ness. 
4K in this. Yes, 4K in this. So we'll see how this one goes. Another one that I, I recently had picked up that they did the 4K of was um Devil. When they did the movie in the elevator. Thought that was really cool the way they did that. I, I liked that movie. Um, but yeah, Dragon Me to Hell in 4K. I mean, what, what more can you ask for in 2024? I know, I know. More 4Ks, more 4Ks, I know. And, and cheaper prices, too, because some of these, oh, some of them be ridiculous with their prices. Mm. I seen some people talking about, you know, some some movies, pre-orders for, I think they were, I don't know, they were, they were 4K movie or steel books, $65. Man, I don't know about you, but I, I got a limit to what I'm willing to spend on, on a movie, and $65 ain't, ain't that limit. Mm -mm, no, that's well beyond... What I'm willing to pay. But, you know, anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. You know, definitely, you know, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, hey, you know, give it a thumbs down, whatever floats your boat. Uh, if you enjoy the content, you enjoy what I'm producing, definitely hit the uh, hit the subscribe button. Definitely helps out the channel. Uh, if you're interested in any of these movies, I will have um, affiliate links through Amazon for them. Um, so, you know, if you'd like to use the links to order the movie, you know, it doesn't cost you nothing. Maybe just a few seconds of your time. That's it. Uh, you know, it definitely you know helps helps the channel with a you know small little kickback, whatever that may be. Um, you know, but other than that, hope you enjoyed the video. And as um, as I always like to say, you know, this is your boy Boo Boy Kennels. And as always, keep them scratching. Peace. We up out of here. <laughs>